Hello everyone, Beyond here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my summer favorites and the most worn pieces over the last couple of months. I will probably also continue wearing these because um, where I live, I'm definitely not done with summer and it's going to remain hot for another while longer. But let's get going on this video. As some of you might know, I moved from South Africa to the United States and the majority of my clothing is still inside our shipping container and because of delays it's not with us yet so i had to buy much more stuff this season and over the last couple of months than ever before um, i really tried to optimize um, what i have but i really wanted to add some summer dresses to my wardrobe I discovered this brand uh, by reading about it on a blog. A previous fashion editor who worked for Vogue um, was writing about it in her, um, in her blog and that's how I discovered it. It's called Realization, um, probably with a French accent. And all of their things, or the majority thereof, is made out of 100% silk. And I must say these dresses have been absolutely amazing. I've loved wearing them so much. Previously, I've worn silk in 100% form only in scarves and some clothing with some silk blends. But these are the first items that I've owned in 100% silk that I actually sit on, if you get what I'm saying, like covering my entire body. And I was a bit afraid of um, it getting damaged or not really holding up as well. So I bought one dress on a sale in the very beginning, I think it was early spring, and it was just so amazing that I bought a few more over the summer. I've been loving them a great deal. They wash really easily, they dry extremely fast, um, they're very well made, a lot of them have French seams in the inside, and overall I am just very impressed with these dresses. The second item that needs mentioning is my Valentino Rockstad sandals. I spoke about this in a previous video that I'll have linked um, where I really took a very long time before buying these and these I didn't buy them new um, but they are absolutely worth it um, for me and I've been wearing them definitely the most out of all of my shoes over this summer season. Um, I love them to bits and I must say I thought they might um, I might get tired of them because they are a little bit of a statement shoe, but that's not been the case for me and I will continue wearing them for many seasons to come. Now that I've been living in Texas, hats have become very important because the heat here is on a different level. So I did a bit of research into hats and wearing of them and I added a few hats to my wardrobe that I've had so much fun with. During the summer season, I would highly advise that you pick a hat made out of straw or with physical holes in it and stay away from felt hats, probably depending also on where you live, but those ones are going to heat you up while a straw hat will help you remain cool and offer some shade in your face, over your eyes and cheeks. Hats are by far my favorite new accessory that I've been playing with and I will keep on adding some hats selective hats into my wardrobe over the next couple of seasons. I only own one pair of polarized sunglasses, but I must say going forward, especially over the summer season, that will probably remain my favorite sunglass to wear, a polarized version, just to help my eyes from the intense rays of the sun. The polarized sunglasses, these specific ones, have a beautiful design. I like the fact that they are slightly almost like a winged cat eye look, but it's not too extreme. Um, it does have like softer edges on the side. I really enjoy the small three dots. It always matches my jewelry. And the fact that it's tortoiseshell and not a complete black really works well with my overall coloring. And if you sometimes feel a little bit weird um, wearing glasses and it feels like when you look at your face, all that you see are like glasses, I would really say try and stay away from black pairs and rather go for something else. Um, try and experiment and take a couple of photos. These tortoiseshell ones have been amazing. Another thing that I really enjoy about them is the fact that I had them slightly, I suppose, altered, where you take them in and have the arms of the sunglasses folded and adjusted to your ears so that if you bend forward, they don't fall off your face and they're really nice and snug and secure. 
The portion of this video is a small sneak peek um, on what I've been working on um, actually for a very long time now and it's been a summer favorite this season but it's also been summer favorites before. Um, it's part of the brand that I'm starting. I have two pairs of trousers that I've worn so much over the summer season, it is insane. These pairs are the ones that I made myself but they are extremely similar to the ones that is almost going into production so keep a look out on my channel for more details to come. And then the last item for today is gonna to be my Pulling bag. I spoke about this in my slow haul video about how I chose it and what went into um, the selection of this handbag, but I must say this has been an absolute favorite and I love the fact that it looks like a small piece of art and the fact that it's structurally um, so different to most bags that you see. I really enjoy the color of it and the functionality of carrying a top handle as well as crossbody and an absolutely amazing brand and bag. I will highly recommend checking them out. This video just shows all of the things that I speak about on a regular basis and the things that I think about. If you, if you buy something that is really well made and that is of high quality, you really get so much wear out of it and you will continue loving that item um, in comparison to buying something that is maybe not as great, um, but it's like an impulse purchase and you will probably stop loving it sometime soon. Well, if you buy something that is really special and really well made, you will continue loving it and will continue wearing it for a very long um, time. When I add things to my wardrobe and selecting things for a specific season such as summer, I always consider the workmanship of the items I'll be wearing and the materials that they are made out of. This is gonna be a key component um, to the comfort during a specific season. And specific seasons um, throughout the year will have specific needs. I will definitely continue speaking about this over the winter season and really focus in on what things to focus on during winter time. Thank you for watching everyone. I'll be back next week with a new video. Have a good one, bye.